we're gonna start this morning off with electrolytes. Convenience <laughs> store coffee is the best shit. <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to a brand new day. We've been at the show now for almost 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer. We're not at the show though, we're, we're in the car. And uh, this is my buddy Bradley. He is 100% responsible for getting me out here to Texas. Are you regretting your decision so far? So? No, not at all. It's no. been, a good, been a good time. All Definitely right. been a good time. All right. No regrets yet. We'll, we'll see if we can't change that real quick. But <laughs> we're going to go to the Arlington show, and I'm going to take you guys along for a ride, see if we can. I'd really like to focus on local people, uh, local Texas folks that are here at the show, and, and uh, hopefully I can meet up with Kat. I think uh, Aaliyah is there. And she can maybe take me around since she is also a local and uh, get me around to the right places. And all right, guys, let's go. Uh -oh. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you. <laughs> so I'm still looking for Kat. I'm not sure where she's at. We're at the show now, obviously. But I did find Brenton here. And he's, these guys work with Get Hooked. Show the people your name. Yeah. It's Chris Woodcock. It's a pretty cool name. It's a big name. Kid yourself. <laughs> it's a big one. These guys do the awesome hooks. Uh, if you guys have seen these before, these are really cool. And, uh, but Brent, I, I really want to show, show me about the, tell me about the Venom Life. What is the Venom yeah, Life all so, about, man? Yeah, so we had this, we had this brand for the last couple years, um, Venom Life, kind of testing it out, you know, they had Salt Life and Fresh Life and Herp Life and all these other life things, but hundreds of thousands of Venom connoisseurs around the world. And there was really nothing for them to express themselves with. So we, so we started out a couple years ago. Um, then we came up with this new brand, a new logo. Uh, we got the VLG for Venom Life gear. Let me show you over here. Then we got the big stuff, the actual logo came in, finally done, man. And with this new brand, we decided we wanted to go a new direction. We wanted to really show something clean, a cool brand, something fun to wear, people to express themselves. But more importantly, we hooked up with Jordan Benjamin at the Asclepius Snake Bite Foundation. These guys are literally building snake bite clinics, helping fight snake bite in Africa. We partnered with them with Get Hooked and with Venom Life. And the new initiative with Venom Life right now is Venom Equals Life. Not only are we making anti-venom out of the venom, right? So venom is a life-saving medicine. But also, we're giving back 10% of all sales. Anything you buy anywhere that has Venom Life on it, 10% of all sales goes back to these guys. Helping save this kid right here. Seven-year-old boy, bit above the eye with the carpet viper. Came in within hours of death. Eight, five days later, he went home with full vision in his eye. Cost $200, less than $200 to save his life. So with, with us giving back, I mean, you know, the World Health in 2017 raised snake bite to a neglected tropical disease. Same level as dengue, typhoid fever. Uh, we're looking at, you know, Ebola, like, it's crazy. They say it's the worst tro uh, neglected tropical disease you've never heard of. 650,000 to 1.5 million people are dying or being maimed by snakes every year. So with us, you know, this initiative with Venom Life, we're, we're able to give back 10% of all sales to these guys. You can go straight to snakebitefoundation.org, donate directly there. You can come through Venom Life, uh, buy some of our stuff. We'll be on Shopify in the next six weeks, we're launching on Amazon in the next two months. Um, and we're gonna have everything from shirts to hats to backpacks to uh, coats, zip ups, hoodies. We're making gloves, beanies. We'll be making shoes. I mean, you name it. We're making cups. We got tumblers out there. We, we got it all. With this logo, with this little icon thing, we're actually gonna be changing it over time. We started out with a snake, but we're gonna put a spider in there, we're gonna put a scorpion in there, might put a jellyfish, a gila monster, or anything to do with venomous animals. So we're gonna try to not just not just cater to the snake people, but just cater to anybody that's doing venomous stuff. Cool. So we kind of change it up a little bit. Oh, nice. hey, good work. Keep up the good work. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Brian, Brian man. thank you yeah. so much. Absolutely, what size bro. shirt do you wear? Absolutely. Bro. Oh, a large. Thanks, large. Brian, very Thanks, much. Chris. We appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Take care. You too, man. Awesome stuff, my guys. You're able to get out there and help spread the word. So this one's for you, Brian. Right on, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, dude. I've got horrible news, guys. Well, it's not life-ending news, but it's pretty bad news. Hillary and the family are sick, so I, I have to look. I have to leave. I've barely filmed anything here at the show for today for the vlog. I got a couple interviews yesterday with a couple of people. I really want to focus on Texas, guys. I'm gonna have to come back, but I'm leaving to catch an early flight. So. But Forrest and I, and Steven and a few other people standing up, Forrest and I had a mission to try and 
speak with Dave Barker and potentially get a video with an interview with, with Dave Barker. And we just sat there, stood there, and spoke with the, the man for what was it, about three hours. We just stand there, yeah, talking? yeah. Basically, the whole time, you know, I, I I've decided that okay, I can either try and run around and film with a bunch of people, or we can stand here and talk with Dave until I have to literally physically leave and get out of here. Yeah, which is what happened. Yeah, it was you know it it was definitely once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, we we don't know if we're gonna get another chance. You know, he might get busy or. Or whatever so uh, we just had to make the most of it and yeah. uh, it was it was it, it was an incredible a absolutely incredible absolutely you know, incredible. Er everything uh, I thought it could have been yeah, you know? yeah. it's uh, if, if we could have videoed that conversation but he, he wanted to get permission for Tracy there's you know he wants to make sure that uh, he's just being careful with you know what he puts out on video and uh, which I totally respect his reasons for 100% um, he is going to be attending Philippe's thing, he said. Yes. In, uh, in, in June, the thing I told you guys about before, Philippe's uh, conference that he's putting on, second weekend of June down in San Diego, which is going to be an amazing conference. Dave said he's going to that conference, and there's lots of other people coming to the conference. Yep. Forrest, you're going to, you're going to come? To the Absolutely. Conference? Forrest, come to the conference. Forrest might even speak at the conference. But, um, but it's, going to be, it's going to be an amazing thing. If you guys are really into Herbert culture, if you're really into the history of it and where it's come from and where it's going to and the people that have helped contribute to her. And in my opinion, this for you're gonna be one of the you're gonna be like you're gonna be the Dave, dude. You're gonna be like a Dave of our generation. That's what I that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. And I you know, I I d I don't even know what to say to that. And I, I I'm definitely that's the direction I'm trying to go with my life and I'm like I can't even tell you how thankful I am that there are people like Dave and these herpetologists who paved the way for what we're doing and uh, and and being able to spend time with them and, and uh, pick their brains and, and learn from them. There's, there's such a wealth of information out there and you know us being able to also express the stuff we're hearing to you know the viewers that are that are watching Triple B TV and your vlogs and, and all of our friends vlogs and stuff you know that's that's really something that I, I, I want to try to do is I want to you know because that's that's where my quest has taken me from being you know getting into this coming to the shows wanting to breed snakes you know do, doing this whole thing over the years it's taken me from that into then all of a sudden you know then you know starting to get zoo dreams you know and, and wanting to have a zoo and uh, and and just it's evolved from there now to having a really strong academic interest you know even though I'm not formally educated I am just so unbelievable you know as I go and I try to learn about these specific animals that I'm into whether it be a bronia or pythons or, or whatever it may be for me, but for me it really was uh, the abronia and the varanids I started to read about these animals and after that, so I start to read about them and every time I read about a species, I feel like I'm watching a movie as I read about how they found this species, the original description, the person that did it, and then I want to know everything it, it, you know about that person who described that species, you know, and, and uh, so with the Abronia, you know, uh, Jonathan Campbell, who actually was Dave Barker's professor. He worked under, you know, he was there sitting there as we were talking. I came down here earlier this week to uh, go to University of Texas Arlington where Dave taught a course and studied underneath Jonathan. Now Jonathan is absolutely the most accomplished herp uh, herpetologist of our time. You know, so this guy's described over a hundred species, um, over ten are named after him. This guy's mind and this guy's life has been a journey like I could never even imagine going all over the world to places people hadn't been um, and, and discovering animals nobody's ever seen and then being able to uh, come back and then look look what Jonathan's life worked. There's so, you know, Dave Barker's and, and, and so, you know, one person, the effect they have with their passion and their life's work, what it does and, and this this work lives on forever. You know this 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 scientific work, and uh, you know that it, th that to me just I just can't even wrap my brain around these guys' lives and what they've done. And and uh, you know, like I said, I'm not formally educated, but when I realize that I still have a chance, you know, um, Lawrence Clobber, who was you know the foremost authority on on uh, rattlesnakes, and you know is really one of the most accomplished herpetologists of all times as well. He was actually um, CEO of Southwest Oil and Gas. So he was a businessman, and after his business career, he that's what he always loved was herpetology, and self-taught, he went on to be 
you know, one of the, you know, top three, you know, herpetologists of all time, I would say. I mean, this guy described most of the rattlesnakes and had this incredible career. So I'm trying to relay to people just all these different things that there are for, that there, all these different avenues that there are for those of us that love these animals. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with just wanting to be a ball python breeder, or just, you know, um, j to just breed rodents like I do or, or do these different things, but man, there's there's just such an incredible world out there and there's so much knowledge and uh, you know there, there there was a point when I was sitting there at uh, UTA and I'm talking to Jonathan Campbell and uh, I actually started uh, crying and I like nobody noticed but like I actually stopped crying because I was just like God how how is my life taking me here like how how did me somebody that like didn't know anything because you feel it um, man you 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 live in it you're breathing it yeah. you, and you like you've got it you've got the you've got the drive. You've got the drive. Oh, sorry. No, nothing's died. <laughs> we're, okay. not, we're not dying oh, yet. Okay. You've got the drive. Yeah. And uh, I see it. It's it's like it's it's hard in you, and you're gonna go for it. I know you're gonna get to where. Um, yeah. That's I already told you. I told you how I feel about. It. I, I see it in you, and uh, I'm stoked to even like just come and stand next to you while you do stuff. <laughs> oh man, I, and I, I love being around you because your positivity too, and uh, it's. Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm so excited about the future of, of herpticulture. Yes. I'm so yes, excited yes. about, you know, the industry side, the academic side. Everything can, can go in such a positive direction because of, you know, what these, these people who, who really built this to where it is today. And uh, if we all work, work together, I think... Uh, keep their momentum going. Yeah, keep, keep the momentum going, you know. Uh, advance, you know, ad advance husbandry. Advance um, the level of veterinary care that we're giving our animals. Advance the message that we're, we're putting out there, you know, like you do with positive pythons. And uh, uh, just... Um, just uh, get, you Facebook, know, get, dude. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just, just <laughs> doing, doing everything we can to, to con continue doing this and, and bring us all together because... Uh, what what an amazing world this is with with people that uh, you know like I said I just I, I have to pinch myself to to it's realize an, it's an my, awesome thing dude yeah, it's it an is. awesome thing and the future is the future is bright man it's Absol looking good absolutely it's looking really so, good dude yeah, I love you bro yeah I love you too man I love you guys too so it's the moment of truth we're headed to the airport I I feel bad that I wasn't able to I didn't even film a single animal no well yesterday at the sh I, I did there were some animals filmed in the interview for triple b but on the vlog not a single animal was filmed uh i think what i'll do is as soon as i get home or when i get home i'll film some of my snakes so you guys can at least see some animals on this one because i know that probably many of you i was expecting to show you guys many animals on this video um that was a big part of the plan today but I really couldn't pass up the opportunity to to listen to Dave speak. We were sitting there for about three hours, and he just amazing, amazing. Like, it, was, it was amazing. That, and that's the, a huge part of these shows for me too. Is is the people you get to talk to in, in person? Because you can chat with somebody online all day long, but nothing compares to standing there face to face with people and, and speaking with them, which is a huge part of these shows for me. And uh, if I had more time, I would have gone and through with the rest of my plans. But I mean, and Bradley's been awesome, just helping out and. You know, making making sure I get to where I need to go and, <laughs> and just being the man, dude. It's been a great time. It ha it it's has been, been a, a lot weekend. of fun. We it's had a lot of fun. A lot of fun, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, uh, something else like oh yeah, there's so many there was so many interviews I wanted to do. Uh, like Bob Clark was there, um, Mike Wilbanks was there. I would love to get interviews with both of those guys, and I probably could have if it weren't for the time constraints. But you know, you just you got to do what you do. Family family is. Number Family one. comes first. Family's number one, so I gotta get I gotta get home to them. I can't let Hillary deal with sick children while she's sick herself. So you gotta get there, and I'm gonna make it happen. So here we go. <laughs> Grab her from her head a little bit and just kind of roll, peel her off the eggs. Oh, she's gonna be a good one. Uh -huh. He's gonna kind of lift her off. There you go. There you go. Aww. Yep, so get her off the eggs and then... Help, help me with daddy. You know, I'll make it a little... I'll bring her closer to you, okay? There you go. 